Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Hi, guys. All right. I'd love to know your word of the day. So, hello, Instagram Live Epic. If you're new and you're just joining us, welcome to the five minute morning stretch. I'm so happy to be on the Epic Instagram. And for you on Facebook, please, you know the drill, put your word of the day in. If you're new on Instagram here with me on the Epic page, um, we always start with our word of the day. And uh, this is a word that's gonna elevate us to be our highest self. So it's not a word of how we're feeling right now necessarily, or a word that's gonna push us necessarily um, to do anything that's not for our highest self. So what is your word of the day? I would love to know. Hi Luke, good morning. Hi Justin, hi Steven. Hello, hello, welcome everybody. And on Facebook, hi guys, hi Kathleen. I see Marissa, hi guys, welcome. Um, so one of the things I just wanna give a background just in case there's some new people. Um, it's really important, you know, one of our foundational teachings and purposes at Epic is to impart routines into people's lives and lifestyle habits into people's lives, rituals into people's lives that add up to the person that they most want to be. And sometimes that person that they most want to be uh, gets surpassed very early on. So we have to keep dreaming. We have to keep pushing forward to a new version of ourselves because we get better and better and better. And it doesn't mean we get more successful necessarily. It doesn't mean we get more money. It doesn't mean we get more muscles. It can mean those things, but it really means on the inside we become stronger, we become more resilient, we become more confident, and we just love ourselves more. And the power of routine, the power of rituals, practices, lifestyle habits that are anchored in removing mental, physical, biochemical, and spiritual barriers from our lives, this is the key to health. This is the key to high performance. This is the key to really living life and at epic you know our philosophy is that if if we're not um feeling good then we can't possibly be living you know we kind of feel a little dead inside and so through these rituals through this accountability and that's really what we bring to the table is the, the accountability not just the ideas of what you um could be doing in the morning or could be doing throughout your day in order to feel better, but also the accountability, you know, and that's really um, uh, what makes change. And, you know, you feel like you have some support and you feel like you've got someone who's got your back and knows what to do next. So, so part of this morning ritual, part of these lifestyle habits that we impart on our clients and our community and anyone that wants to listen to us, <laughs> um, We've got the morning routine, which includes the five minute morning stretch. So I've been going live on Instagram and Facebook now all throughout COVID doing the 8 a.m. morning stretch because it is so powerful. It's such a small part of your day, but it literally creates, um, it, it, it transcends the whole rest of your day like nothing else. Um, and it's just one of the rituals that we, that we teach. So five minute morning stretch this morning, we are going to do um, a five minute morning stretch for SI mobility. So sacral iliac joint mobility. You know, we're sitting a lot more than we have been perhaps, uh, a little bit more stressed perhaps. Maybe you're, you're tackling things and doing even more workouts than you were normally. So you might feel some low back pain, you might feel some hip pain. So we're gonna deal with that today. Um, but before we do, if you haven't already, please put your word of the day into the comments that way everyone can share and again this is a day this is a word that is going to elevate us into our highest self and really prepare us mind body and soul for the day ahead so we can live and not feel crappy which is the goal <laughs> all right guys i'm just going to see if there's some words of the day in here you've got a line good morning jammy good morning shannon morning diane morning luke Luke, you're on both platforms. Way to go, man. Love it. 
Catherine, mindful. Yes, yes, yes. One of the best ways to live life is be mindful in the moment. Absolutely. Val, power. Woohoo! Love it. Love the energy. Okay, let's get going with our stretch. You guys ready? One little sip of organic coffee. Local from Little Victories. Shout out to Little Victories. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do I'm really gonna harp on you guys about where your hip placement is and what is activated within your body. So we have to stabilize and create some tension in order to kind of pin the muscle in order to really uh, open up that joint, okay? So don't worry, I'm gonna coach you on this. First thing we're gonna do, I want chin to chest. We're gonna go one vertebrae down. But while I'm doing this, my abs are super tight. I'm pulling my hips forward. So I've got a posterior pelvic tilt here. Okay. I'm pulling forward one vertebrae at a time. I'm kind of like slinking down the front side of my body. My head is totally relaxed. I'm going all the way down one vertebrae at a time. I'm going to put my hands on my ankles or my shins. And from here, we're going to do some cat cow. So I'm going to push my hips out. I'm going to feel it in my hamstring first, right? And then from here, I'm going to arch my back. I'm going to pin my hands on my, just on the bottom of my knees. Maybe you're on your thighs. And I'm going to arch my back and look up. I'm going to take a nice deep breath in. So while we're contracted here, I want some breath in to create some space in the rib cage. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now we tuck the tail one vertebrae at a time. The head's the last thing to come down. Relax the neck, and I want this to be active. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades down towards the ground. Good, breathe in, shoulder blades come back. We're gonna arch the back, we're gonna open up the tail. We're gonna show the wall behind us, the ham glute tie, which is where our glutes meet our hamstrings. So what I want you to do is I really want you to twerk your butt, <laughs> back the back wall, open up the hamstrings. Deep breath in here. Create some space. We're stretching from the inside. On the exhale, abs nice and tight. We're going to rotate. We're going to pull one vertebrae at a time. The head is the last thing. Good. Deep breath in. Open up. Everything is active. Good. One more time. Tuck the tail. Good. This time, I'm going to put some tension in my hands. I'm going to pull my hands forward, okay? Everything is still active. I'm going to pull my hands forward. Good. I'm going to arch my back now. Really push my hips back. I'm showing that hand glute tie. Good. And then slowly roll under. And then hands are going to slide on the front of our bodies and go up one vertebrae at a time. Shove those shoulders back. Arms are going to come up. Open up the chest. Nice deep breath in. On the exhale, relax down. Beautiful, okay, next. We are gonna do a little bit of a pivot. So think of a golf swing, think of a golf swing. So we're gonna pivot one knee in, okay? What I'm gonna do though first, I'm gonna make sure my hips are aligned over my grounded leg. Okay, I'm gonna put pressure on the outside of my foot. I'm gonna push the toe into the ground. I'm gonna pivot that kind of dangly leg in towards that other uh, leg here. And I'm gonna make sure that this is the strongest leg I've ever had in my life, okay? So we're gonna activate that. I'm gonna turn my hip inward towards this leg. I'm turning my hip inwards, I'm sitting on that hip. And from here, I'm gonna pin my elbow or my hand against the outside of that knee and then open up, breathe in. Good, activate, really activate. Deep breath out, come back to neutral. Good, watch the upper body, watch the traps, make sure they're down away from the ears. Grounding in that opposite leg, pushing into the big toe on the outside of the foot. This one's gonna turn in, I'm gonna get some nice hip internal rotation here. My glute is gonna be on, okay? This glute is nice and strong, supporting the leg. I'm pinning the opposite hand over the knee and then I'm opening up. Hold, hold, open up the chest, open up the heart, breathe in, deep breath out, power through that glute, come to neutral. Here we go, other side, pin and up, breathe in, 
active, breathe out, open up. Good, two more, neutral. As you come up, I want you to use your muscles to come up. Breathe out, open up that chest. Good, last one. Breathe out. Good, come on up. Our last exercise. I'm gonna ground my foot in front of me. I'm gonna cross the leg behind, kind of like a curtsy lunge. Squaring my hips off, okay? Powerful here, same kind of concept. Same leg, same arm. The, the leg that's in front, that's the arm that's gonna come forward, come to the inside of the knee. Breathe out, arch up. Good, really opening up that side, making, making sure your hips are square. I don't want your hips lost. I want to see your hip. Good, abs tight, come up. Good, step in front, other side. Coming down, bending those knees, activating the core here, opening up, stretching that side of the body. Good, breathe, open up. Good, breathe in, pass behind, other side. Breath in, breathe out, step forward, other side. Breathe in, reach, 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 and come down. Whew. Good, shake that out. Wonderful job. Now just do whatever you feel like you need to do. If it's rolling the shoulder blades back, inner thigh, mine's a bit tight today. Doing some at-home work. Forward, back, open up. Oh. Okay, cool. So my morning prompt for you guys today. So morning prompts are usually a challenge I give you, a quote of the day something to get your mind thinking, something to get you thinking about yourself, your self-care, um, your health, your fitness. So my prompt for you today is kind of the same theme around rituals. So I want you to identify what are rituals that make you feel awesome? What are those rituals? Maybe you haven't done them in a long time, maybe you're doing them currently, but is there a way that you can track them every day? So. Um, one of the things I do every morning is I do my epic life planner. I set my priorities. I do my epic start, which is my morning cocktail, my five in the morning stretch, my cold shower, my word of the day, my 30 state changing breaths. And so these are the things that I've identified that keep me in a high performance mind, keep me in an elevated position, no matter what's going on. It doesn't mean it's always going to be a great day, but it does mean that on the days where I don't feel awesome to begin with, I feel a lot better. And on the days where I feel awesome to begin with, those are spectacular days. So um, what are those rituals for you that you know you need? And where can you impart them into your schedule today in order for it to be an aligned day? So that's my morning prom for you. I'm so happy to see all of you. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, thanks, Danielle, for being here. Good job, everybody. I'm so proud of you. Justin, your word is sharp. Yes, you are. Awesome word. Love it. Okay, guys. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm here every day at 8 a.m. in the morning here with you to help you start your day. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. See you then. Bye.